I'm giving you 15 seconds to answer this question. If your video is not clear, you refresh the page. You go back and come back again. The video will be clear. So chronic CSOM case asking security. So our highlighting point, this is Aboriginal child. Options are cholesterol, mastoiditis, significant hearing loss. A bit weird it is looking like. So what do you think? Uh, highlighting point, guys, CSOM. Aborigine, maybe um, no treatment by this time because the Aborigine, they don't go to the health center so often. So if you just left this in air infection, what will happen? You can understand. So thing that will happen. Okay. See, sometime the options can be changed. Like one more thing here, the option can be changed. Cholesteatoma, it is very hard to tell without seeing the tympanic membrane, okay? If you just left, like, you know, I asked what it could be, very simple thing I ask. So, you know, significant in this hearing loss, that is an indicator of CSOM as well, okay? So, uh, chronic surgery is a chronic inflammation of the medial ear cavity. You know, this sometimes this weird type of stem we found, I'm not sure that it is a recaller's mistake or uh, intentionally they put this thing. So, conic supportive order is a conic inflammation of the middle layer and mastoid cavity, primary developing disease in the developing world. Uh, it's okay, like uh, Aborigine are uh, not from very good background. So, this can develop. So, and, and you know, in this one, actually the recaller it is telling this is CSOM. But when you will go to the main exam, they will tell you there's Aboriginal child, there's recurrent, you know, pain in his ear and discharge in his ear. And now he came to the GP because now it has become severe in recent days. But when you take history, it's been a couple of time in past. Okay. So you should think about the option. So uh, if you just left the CSOM, it will just damage the tympanic membrane and there could be perforation. Okay. So there'd be significant hearing loss. So that is the thing. So with limited information for the question, this is recall. So we have to just know the pros and cocoons. So I think significant hearing loss. That's the most important thing. Okay. So we're going for C with limited information. I think I'm sure the main exam will tell you much more thing. Don't worry at all. And just know about the CSOM. That is how the CSOM probably looks like. So with CSOM, now you tell me one thing, with uh, CSOM, uh, hearing loss is more common or cholesterol developing is more common. What do you think? Okay, very nicely said, Dr. Sayada. Very nicely said. So now, now the pattern we need to think, like, you know, that which one is more significant? So first we should think about hearing loss. Then we'll think about the, uh, probably even cholesteotoma, I think I should, it's a something we should, it is a rare thing. So I think I, we should put it as like number three here. This one I'll put one, this one put two. Okay. So that's the thing. So hearing loss is more common. AMC wants you to know that. The more common one, do you know the more common one? Okay, so here we can see the tympanic membrane has been damaged. So the damaged tympanic membrane, all this thing. Right, question number two, we can go with. Okay, eight year boy with previous two, previous history of two year surgeries. So, what history we have? Two year surgery comes for significant pain in the ear. Pain in the ear is also called otalgia. Please do remember and don't confuse in the main exam. Pain in the ear, it is also called otalgia. 
So profuse offensive discharge on examination, the area behind the ear is tender. What is the next investigation? Before going into the investigation, first you tell me what is the diagnosis and then tell the answer. So you have 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Yes, behind the ear, there's a word. What is the keyword? I always look for the keyword. Pain behind the ear. I think my diagnosis is almost there. Good. Mastoiditis. If you're thinking mastoiditis, very good. If mastoiditis, what I should think? Okay. Many of you have answered already. Question number two, answer. So, it's the eight year uh, boy, like, you know, important thing I highlighted, pain would be behind the ear. So, CT, why? To rule out mastoiditis. Because at this point, we're not sure, but we are suspecting. Okay, so we we'll like to do an CT to rule out the mastoiditis. Here I just put, this is from John Murtag. So the overall thing we need to do for a CSOM case, because this CSOM or in any kind of uh, otitis media can lead to a lot of other complication. So these are in general. Someday you'll go to MC Clinical and that time you have to tell all the names. You know, I would like to do this, this, this test, or I am referring you to a specialist, and a specialist will do some tests like autoscope, a culture, PTL, X ray, uh, some blood test, and some urine. Uh, you know, in general, some parts we call office test as well. So, if it's a office test, a lot of things are covered. So, there's certain significant ways to, you know, tell these things in MC clinical exam. But for this one, to rule out the things, I think, CT, uh, reference, okay, reference, reference, med bullets, okay? So it is it is given. If you check the med bullets, the mastoiditis, the CT scan, reference is given, right? Next question is coming, guys. Child who is acting out in a school with hearing loss comes uh, two and there's a picture like this picture like this probably and he has been having a multiple episodes of ear pain so this is the keyword multiple episodes of ear pain and also we have a discharge here very importantly so what is your diagnosis so you can see this diagnostic type question you will be asked a lot like is it a what it is it is csom asom mastoiditis or effusion or external okay so you need to know like you know how to differentiate between all of them so i'm giving you 15 seconds to answer this question let's see how do you respond there's a word multiple episodes of ear pain and discharge over the years over the years so if it is over the years okay let's come to the point that is important for us so this is a child so school going with hearing loss okay so child going to school hearing loss what it could be any ideas actually things depend on pictures firstly let me tell you what is the problem in this question there was no picture in this one okay so in this one see i just brought three questions for you guys so that you can differentiate it so this is normal tympanic membrane who can tell me why i'm thinking this is normal tympanic membrane can anyone else to add something anyone from ent background here Normally there is no fluid. I can see the shininess. Can you see the shininess? So pink, shiny, I can see like shiny light reflexes 
present okay so this is the thing and if it would have been efficient i'm not telling which one is the answer right now even though it could be written i'm telling you to judge by seeing the picture in the main exam okay so this is like you know just compare both of them like you can see some shininess is gone now okay and especially this one if you see more more shininess is gone but if this one is quite good and this one is i think shininess is gone and i can also see the edematous and the fluid so the things depends thing depends on the picture first of all so multiple episodes of ear pain and discharge maybe we're thinking as same like you know from this information there is no doubt this is CSOM but I can tell you one of my doubt because in school growing children uh, otitis media with effusion is also common for them okay so the previous one the previous one um, I would like to tell the main answer probably not the media with effusion but CSOM probably I am to go with the CSM, but this one could be auditus media diffusion because it's a school going children as well. Okay, but the most things is still depending on your picture. Okay, this one thing is leading me thinking this is CSM. If multiple episode usually not mentioned, then I would have go with the otitis media with diffusion. A child will will have some question very shortly what it is we do with effusion we also have question so when the child is going to school and suddenly they are increasing the television volume okay and uh, couldn't hear properly and uh, you have to shout to uh, to get response from your kid so what happened so it's a five year six year boy and who is uh, you know watching television in high volume and when you are telling not listening properly that is probably indicator of, of otitis media with effusion for this one i'd like to go with csom clear everyone i can move forward guys okay great any questions you can ask in the comment section i can also see so i can answer back this is another type i brought okay let's just you know i'm going with the clusters these things we call cluster this is how you should also discuss recalls okay now my boy is brought in by the father to see you because he has some very inattentive. So what is the keyword here? Very much inattentive in his school with falling grades. This is, could be one. He said to have been recurrent bilateral ear discharge for some months now. For some months, didn't mention how many months. And he had bilateral hearing loss with ear examination given below. So what is the next step of management for this cell? So for this type of question, uh, in inner mind, you have to make a diagnosis and then you have to give the treatment. So now what do you think? What your inner mind is telling? Tell me, like, what do you think about this question? What is your diagnosis, first of all? And what is your diagnosis and what is your treatment? I'm giving you 15 seconds to answer this question. Okay, what about the answer, guys? Yes, uh, Dr. Varun said a nice thing, both ears at the same time. This one you should also highlight that, you know, both ear that is been affected. Okay, so let's go for the answer. Okay. So very inattentive in school with falling grades, recurrent bilateral ear discharge for some months now. 
okay and uh, it has been bilateral on examination bilateral hearing loss finding in the ear so a similar type of question so there is another question i just want to tell you apart from this one school going children is not attentive suddenly you should check the ENT until proven otherwise because there is another recall it was that like you know the same scenario the scenario was almost similar and they said ENT or psychiatric evaluation you can search with that keyword psychiatric evaluation you might find that recall it's an old recall but this is old recall started to come yeah so i i'm also thinking the same so bilateral and uh, it's for more longer time so i personally also think this could be the uh, csom and uh, uh, you need to manage with giving this ciprofloxacin this drop and as i said another extra thing that if just a second Sorry guys. Okay, so uh, in ciprofloxacin airdrop, CSOM has been diagnosed and we're giving ciprofloxacin, but you know, a very close DD is otitis media with effusion, okay? Next one, this is even though a handbook question. Uh, bilateral, sometimes possible, like, you know, uh, but uh, CSOM possible sometimes could be bilateral. Because acute cases, we'll rather think more about the unilateral. Another reason could be of bilateral because there could be some defect, you know. Example, if you have some defect in your upper respiratory areas, you might have more infection. If you have some defect in your nose, uh, deviated nasal septum, you'll have more cough, cold and infection. So same thing goes with the ear. So you, you might not know there could be some defect and in this case, the chances of having infection is small. Okay. So that is the thing. Yes, if in case of there is no ENT fighting, but uh, those are the exam actually formulas. You will be given that question for trapping okay this question you know as i said until proven otherwise always go for the ent because these questions are made for mostly ent purposes okay next this is a very important handbook question and often tested we have seen just 11 years immunity is already down in 11 years temperature we have a temperature now and persistently crying fever, running nose, and, you know, attend a daycare for two weeks a day. Otoscopy examination showed dull, you know, tympanic membrane, which is bulging outward. And uh, he has not been treated for any ear problem previously. Which one of the following is the most appropriate next step of management for these children? Now, you have 15 seconds to answer this question. This is a classic question. This is a complete question. So some of you already, so bulging outward, bulging tympanic membrane. So one particular ear that is affected. So one ear, one ear that is affected. Also, I can see the bulging. These two words are quite enough. And also I can see increased temperature. Quite enough for me to make a diagnosis. So this is nothing but uh, CSOM. This is nothing but CSOM. So the keyword is bulging and how this bulging usually looks like. So this is the bulging, bulging red drum on the otoscopy. This one, you know, you should, this picture you should fit in your mind. Like whenever this type of picture will come and you quickly hit the ASOM and then you can see your answer is correct. Answer is E, paracetamol and amoxicillin. One extra thing, uh, who is more responsible for ASOM is probably it could be streptococcus pneumonia. 
yes nocturne Nithi said in very nice way ASOM with bulging and fever dull tympanic yeah these are very popular word for ASOM thank you so much okay secret recipe it's okay it's like you know uh, see uh, I just pick that one like you know don't just judge practically few things these are few impractical thing I'm just going to tell you now okay so there's like few questions I just picked up the answer from there so inflamed membrane like you know there'll be redness on the membrane there'll be discharge and no retraction okay so inflamed membrane how do I know there'll be redness and there will be bulging that's how we get to know that is inflamed membrane and what is the treatment amoxicillin and also you can say analgesic just the previous question we have seen inflamed with discharge with retraction again it's amoxicillin also actually to be honest it depends on time time frame is also important you know before six weeks we say this could be the asom most cases and inflamed without discharge without retraction again it could be asom if you have the redness and bulging in the tympanic membrane in anyhow either they will tell you or either they'll give you the picture so you have to make a diagnosis and you have to give a treatment now the only thing that is little different here you know they might tell you like this incidence incidence happens you know multiple time as like you have seen previously multiple times and uh, redness bulging they might not tell in this case so in this one the number four the diagnosis could be CSOM okay so even though it looks uh, easy ASOM CSOM but you should give some more effort how to differentiate between ASOM CSOM I'm sure now it is looking easy because I'm telling but you know when you will go and later you might forget that one so you should check in various website forums also in Google image like how to differentiate ASOM CSOM just you know just make that thing fit in your brain so whenever the question will come quickly you can answer so CSOM as you can see but the treatment was tested one time in AMC this is very important for the treatment for CSOM yes we do give antibiotic but if it is asked what is the mainstay so that that question was asked what is the mainstay in case of CSOM so this is the AMC recall exam recall so the answer would be ear toileting ear toileting that is the correct answer okay can we move forward to the next okay a boy came to you with a history of ear discharge for two weeks his tympanic membranes looks dull and retracted and there's yellow discharge from his ear you know please highlight this word there is dullness retraction discharge only for two weeks and yellow discharge from his ear now what to do next tricky question giving you 15 seconds let's see who is first question six waiting for your response okay so let's get into the answer so I choose the answer as a okay so the answer for this one is amoxicillin this is correct why less than six weeks and dull retracted only thing was there so dull retracted this can be also remember the previous formula this one so there's dull there's retraction you can see this so discharge dull retraction okay so that can be ASOM well I could support what it is media okay so uh, some of the information from John Murtak 573 574 you will find ASOM CSOM there also I could support what it is media so please check out those pages okay for more reference great moving forward to the next 
three years integers again this is aborigine integers just three years